All right, today is Monday. I'm gonna cash in these air conditioner coils on Wednesday. It's supposed to snow tomorrow. I don't know how good you could see it. Oh, you could see it. Yep, snowing. So I'm not gonna go drive in the snow, but I just wanna show this uh, nice stack that's here before I dis dismantle it to bring it in. Some good stuff here. Like six months worth. There's another big one back there all folded up. And then we got some uh, essential air ones here. Another one down there. And I got another little stack of coils going on up there. So we'll run all these in on Wednesday. Uh, like I said, I just want to show this because this is pretty cool. This is a big big pile. I've had a bigger pile before, but I brought it in as and little parts here and there at a time. So I'm just going to run all these in. These, these are some nice ones right here from those 72 uh, Linux PTAC units. And then that one, big big one down there. And this big one from Inverter. So, yep, that's that. All right, it's Wednesday. We're going to cash in the coils. Picked up a water here this morning from the plumbers. So I'll show you what we're going to bring because we're bringing more than just coils. We got two central air sealed units. And here's our coils. Get out of the sun. We got one stack, two stacks. That's not really a stack, they're just standing there. So that's kind of a stack. And then there's some uh, six inverter coils here. There's another two inverter coils, those are big. And here's all our little tiny ones. These were from, a, or this one was from a end of a one of those carrier Proon giant units, the HVAC guys got it and they threw one of the ends out and I cleaned it up. And here's all our essential air ones. This one's pretty big. And since we're going, I'm going to bring in my brass. This is my new brass hoard. I just cashed it in like a month ago. I'm sure you guys saw it in that video. This is a nice piece. Killer uh, brass drain pipe. They left it on the regular steel drain pipe for me, you know throw me a bone it was nice of them and this is just some bulky stuff like lamp brass lamp parts and stuff so we'll bring that in too we'll bring in this copper here this big coil this was from a tankless water heater up in oak lawn the plumbers redid it this isn't from like a little one you'd get out of like a house or something this thing is probably close to 100 pounds but i was talking to the yard manager about it a month ago he said last time he got one of these he had to sell it as number three to the mill because all these little fins. So first I heard of that, but I got some from a water heater or not water heater, uh, pool heater. So I'm going to just bring those in with these and see how that goes. And then I got a car wheel. The funny thing about this, this was on the train tracks. So the train hit a car and ripped the wheel in half. It also had the rotor and uh, part of the, I think that's a control arm. I'm not biggest car guy in the world but it was on there i got it off i still just gotta get that set screw out because i've been being too lazy so we'll get this water heater out of here and then we'll start loading the truck All right, I gotta redo this. That coil's not gonna fit in here. All right, my initial plan for loading the truck didn't work, so I had to reorganize it. We got the wheel in the back, or, or what's left of it. Here's our questionable number two, number three. I got most of the coils in over here. There's our brass, the two sealed units. I still got these coils here to get in. So I'm just gonna throw those up on top of the sealed units and stuff, and then that'll probably be it. So here we are, truck's all full, got all the coils in. I had a plan to load it, but it didn't work. So we got a lot of coils in here, that big copper coil, 
that train wreck wheel that's a lot of coils all right i called ahead i'm gonna get five cents a pound extra for my coils and i'll see you when i get back time to sell some stuff all right see you in a bit Back from the scrapyard, we found a stainless steel dishwasher and a ceiling fan at the dumpsters on the way home. So now on to the ticket from the scrapyard. Okay, for that yellow brass, 56 pounds, we got 106 bucks. That copper one is number three, so we had 139 pounds. We got 375 bucks for that. That big coil, if you're wondering, weighed 122 pounds by itself. Those two sealed units were 118 pounds, we got $24. What was left of that aluminum wheel was 27 pounds, and we got 22 bucks and for the clean coils. We had 485 pounds with that uh, five cents a pound bonus, 728 with a grand total of $1,255. All right, everyone have a good day.